Once the ball hit the sand for the final time at the London Olympics in 2012, professional beach volleyball player Lauren Fendrick has had one goal, Rio or bust. Fendrick, a Carlsbad, California native, and her partner Brooke Niles finished third in the qualification for the last Olympics, just missing a berth on Team USA. Even though she was able to travel to London for a week and a half as an alternate, Fendrick would have much rather been able to compete instead of cheering for her teammates from the sidelines. I was super happy for them, cheering for them, but at the same time I wanted to be there, so uh, I knew starting in uh, the, day, the next day, like, this was my goal to go to Rio, to win Rio, and um, that's, that's been motivation ever since. A five-sport athlete in high school, Fendrick didn't start playing competitive volleyball until her sophomore year of high school. Her rise in the sport was swift, as she chose UCLA as a college, in part because one close family member would be able to come watch her play. UCLA had a fantastic volleyball program, um, really good academics, and uh, I liked being close to home, grew up in San Diego, so my mom could come up and watch all the games. Fendrick had success not only on the court in Westwood, but also in the classroom as she graduated magna cum laude in 2003 with a degree in communication studies. Right after graduation, she started playing the AVP circuit and gradually improved her finishes. Then in 2010, while still on tour, she got her JD degree at USC and passed the bar exam. A year later, she hit the mother load winning two tournaments with Brooke Niles, but she may have found her best chemistry when she united with two-time AVP Defensive Player of the Year, Brooke Sweat, in 2014. That same year, Fendrick was named the AVP's best blocker. I'm really lucky to have um, Lauren as a teammate. She's so easygoing and we get along really good off the court and on the court, but um, it's just nice when you have a teammate that um, respects you and you respect. Lauren's a very technical player. Uh, she's been playing for a really long time, so she knows what she's doing. Um, she's a thinker. Fendrick and Sweat are coached by Fendrick's husband, a former professional volleyball player and current USC Beach volunteer assistant coach, Andrew Fuller. Even though they spend countless hours on the court practicing, once off the court, the conversations between Fendrick and Fuller revolve around the game they love. We're total volley nerds. Uh, we love talking about arm swings and like <laughs> hypotheticals like, you know, if I could play with a men's player, who would I play with? The schedule leading up to the June 13th Olympic qualification deadline is jam-packed as Fendrick and Sweat battle with the other top American teams, including three-time Olympic gold medalist Kerry Walsh and partner London silver medalist April Ross to secure one of two probable U.S. spots in Rio. If Fendrick makes it to Brazil, it will be the culmination of 12 years of grinding it on the sand. It's a dream of mine and it's a goal I've been working very hard for for a long time and uh, it, would, it would mean the world to me. For the Pac-12 Networks, I am Julian Lopez with the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.